this. I mean, we <laughs> we played together, and uh, I would consider my closest friends, like my sisters, were my teammates. Since graduating in 1990, you spend the rest of your professional life trying to find a coach and a team, and I think that just that uh, monumental experience has carried through pretty much every day since I left. All right. Uh, <laughs> Well, what does uh, uh, Columbia Sisterhood mean to me? It means friendship that outlasts college. It means a support system. Um, it means when I need advice, I, can, I have a group of friends. When I need a laugh, I have a group of friends that I can rely on. Um, so that's what, it's, what, that's what it means to me. I haven't been to a single college reunion ever since yeah, we graduated, point. but I come to this event every year to support the team and to see like my best friends in life so it it means a lot and you make the effort to to come back and uh, support the program oh this is my college number two yeah, here my we two. go my turn. Oh, my staying involved with the program because of Coach Meg and her girls coming to see them play is an experience every time. They're so good. They're selfless. The kids come in. Come on, the kids Gabby. come. Yes. I bring my kids to the games. <laughs> Our family comes and it's just an all around good time and we're going to win the championship this year and I can't wait. My name is Lillian Kennedy, and I'm a senior from Atlanta, Georgia. The Sisterhood has taught me the importance of relationships, truthfully. It has taught me the importance of being able to have people that can see you at your lowest, that can see you at your best, and that will be there for you no matter what. And I feel as though the bonds that we've created here have allowed us to be that way with each other. And I know that these these girls, my teammates, they're gonna be, some of them are gonna be my best friends for life because there's no way that I'll be able to go out in the world and find anybody that has experienced what we've experienced together. And I truly think that the bonds that you experience whenever you're going through hardships, you go when you go through hard things together, those bonds are unbreakable. And I know that these girls will be my sisters for life. I'm gonna try to work on like, obviously being able to score better down low, but like y'all knowing me, what I like to do, like just move. It's, yeah, I get it in deep. It in. Yeah, yeah, just cut off me so I can get you guys open too. Okay. Susie! Susie! Hey, steady. Great cut, baby. Great cut. Yeah. I mean, I think as simple as how we celebrate one another. If you see our games and you see how we are not only on the bench, but on the court when anybody does anything well, like we're going crazy for each other. We're celebrating, we're chest bumping, high fives, screaming. Uh, is everybody here real quick? Okay, one other thing. So this is the first time in program history that we're receiving top 25 votes. Right? Like, so, but it doesn't mean, it means nothing because you guys have such a long journey ahead of y'all. But something you've earned is something they've earned. So I'm really proud of my staff for sticking through this with me because it has not been easy. And you've earned. Yeah. I think it was really important to buy into something, have something that you could hang your hat on. And for us, that's edge, energy, discipline, grit, and excellence. And I think coming in as freshmen, you hear about a mantra, you hear about something that a, that a coach brings wants to bring to a program. But I think the buy-in is what's really important and that'll demonstrate how far or the success of a program. And I think coming in as freshmen, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, you just want to come in and you want to work hard and you want to stick together. Blow it up, blow it up, good. Get it, get it, blow it up. 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 I have no idea what happened at the beginning of the point. Yep, get it, get it. I'm so ready 
I'm so ready. Let's get another My name one. is Sienna Durr. I am a senior from Grinnell, Iowa. To be able to have such a strong, like, core group um, who have such great relationships with each other and that are so bought into a vision, um, anyone else who is going to come into the program after that is going to be just as bought in. They're going to be just as close and they're, they're going to want to carry on this like culture of closeness, this culture of sisterhood, this culture of having each other's back no matter what. So I really think with my class that really started to turn the tide of what kind of program we wanted to be um, from the very start. Here we go from Levitis Pavilion. The first place Columbia Lions take on the hometown Harvard Crimson. And the Crimson up by one at the end of the first quarter. Up by one at the end of the second. Aaron, this has been a fantastic game. Columbia puts a hurt on the Crimson in the third. They've exploded to go up by 14 points. It's the go. Henderson. Oh! Kitty Henderson! High up for the glass. And now she has a chance at a three-point play. It was a 26-point third quarter for the Columbia Lions. And put them in front. Well, the Lions certainly didn't get the start they wanted in this game, but right now they are in control. 8 nothing run by the Columbia Lions. If you want to go back further than that, 23-5 run, and they have a 26-11 lead as some balance attacking here offensively for the Lions. Columbia Lions. They cruise to an 80 to 37 win over the Dartmouth Big Green here in Hanover. Columbia moves to 21 and four overall. From the get go, it's like Coach G is making sure that these relationships are so strong to be able to carry on the success of this program beyond who is here today and beyond when she has gone from this program as well. It's being able to establish this culture of sisterhood and of trust and like just really tight knit relationships in order to hold each other accountable, to have each other's backs and be able to make each other successful. I think Coach G has done such a great job of making sure that that is one of the pillars of our program. I feel like I can confidently say that we are going to win an Ivy League championship. We have put in the work, we have seen the success this season, and we know what it feels like to be playing Columbia basketball, to be playing together, and to be able to like win tight games. So 
I feel like we are right there and we are so close and like we are going to do it in March. We are going to win that championship.